Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Ottoman Empire where we are trying to do a World Congress series and not become the sick men of Europe. So today guys, we are trying to get the uh, Chinese on our side. Um, why? Because I just, I'm going to be really lazy, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really want to conquer all these guys individually. I don't really want to be the one to do it. It's going to take me a really long time. So I think the quicker and easier and simple solution is just have China... The big buddies, go do it for us. So let's see, the next time I can influence China is going to be when? Uh, May 13th. So in about a couple days, actually. A couple days. So, yeah. We're going to be doing that. We just finished up some more sieges up here. Um, definitely just crushing through the entire Ven Venezuelan army. I mean, Venezuela wasn't really going to be a threat to me and my sovereignty as a nation. I already knew that. Okay, 13th. Go back to China. China, we're really... Come on, China, be our buddies. Be our buddies, China. Come on, we're really trying here. We're really trying to become friends with you. Don't you dare turn us away. Don't you dare turn us away. If you turn us away, you will die quicker than you ever will know. Let's see, and it seems like all you guys are finishing up your sieges. Oh, I love you guys. You guys are so cool. Okay, and then we're about to... We don't even... I don't even think we're going to have to pick up an army, but I just want to pick up an army just in case. Because we still do need an army to go over there, because I need to start having quicker invasion forces everywhere. Like, we need to be on invasions, like, boom, 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 boom. Like, one-year war kind of invasions. We need to be like Adolf Hitler, man. Where we just invade entire countries without, in just two days, basically. So, let's see. Let's go right over here. Go land our troops right over there on that continent. Let's see. Of course, Venezuela, I don't think, is going to give up until the very last second. They're just that kind of stubborn nation. I don't know why. Okay, let's see. You guys go right here. But we're going to finish up with our sieges pretty quickly. You guys go right there. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. Go influence China. Go influence China. Please, China, do not turn away from us, by the way. We do need you guys as a good ally. Okay, let's see. Would you guys accept an alliance? Almost. We're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting very, very close. All right. In a couple, mostly a couple more ticks, we should be able to turn you guys to a big old gigantic buddy. Let's see, though. Let's see. We have different, like, 3 July, 3rd July. Okay. 3rd July, and it seems like I'm actually running out a little bit of space right now for, like, diplomatic relations. It makes me kind of mad, but I can't really deal with that. Just, yeah, just give me railroads. I need railroads in my country because my country is so big. Uh, by the way, how many capitalists do we have in our country right now? 41k. I'm pretty sure that's the most capitalists in this entire game. We have literally capitalists to build our entire nation if we really want to, which is good. We need capitalists to build our entire nation because, basically... I have no drive to go build my entire nation. <laughs> if, I, if I was really sick here, people. Oh, yay! Now we get more stuff. Okay, Valley of the Kings. Destroy enemy industry. No, that's a very terrible idea because that's industry is about to come mine. Uh, implemented. Uh, was an early attempt at gifting on uh, 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 No, I don't really care about that because I don't really need the Tamsin and that reforms. I, I, do you guys agree with me here, people? I really don't need them. I think I'm big enough to the point where people are just going to be like, oh, yeah, they're a Western power. Don't really want to mess with the Ottomans ever. If you mess with the Ottomans, you are going to die. So, yeah, let's see. Forest payment. Yeah, no. We have more lands. Let's see. I want to do Southern England because I'm pretty sure Southern England has some. Start making capitalists over there in Southern England. Just keep doing whatever you need to do. I'm going to go close down all those factories in a second. Let's go start sieging up all the rest of these factories. Alright. Let's go start sieging up the last little bits of land that they have over here. And then I have... Then I probably have a very firm foundation over here in this land. Let's see. China. You guys. You guys increase your relationships with me. That's very much appreciated. Now, you guys really need to like me so that we can instantly start conquesting all your neighbors. Okay? I want to start conquesting all your neighbors. Let's see. It seems like it seems like they're all breaking alliances right now. Uh, sure, why not? We'll become friends with Masor. Okay, yes. Okay, so Gunzai is exactly the way I wanted it to be. It has exactly the amount of alliances I got it. So let's see. Declare war on Gunzai, get the Cosbelli, then go right here, then go get then go be able to conquest both these lands right here at the simultaneous time. Then from there what we could do is just go release the little tiny vassals, then from there we can go conquer more of this. If China tries to join in, I'm guaranteed I'm gonna go crush China. <laughs> China, you better not join in because I literally have more power than you by a long, long shot. China, like, China should know not to mess with me. I literally am the god of this universe. 
well, not a god. I wouldn't say, I don't say I'm above to be a god. But let's see, you guys, you guys are done. You guys aren't done? Wait, what do I not have seeds up? Oh, okay. Let's see. Go siege up that last little bit of land right there. I have my new troops moving in. Okay, go pick up, actually go pick up this army over here too. Just because I just realized they're probably going to be useless unless I go get them an actual job to do. Okay, yes, go siege up that last little bit of land. Why? Wow, I forgot about that. Uh, and let's see, you guys over here, you guys actually have a decent... You know what, actually, you guys go defeat this army, and then we'll go deal with that. Because actually, these guys over here can go finish up this land. Because I really don't need it. Oh my goodness. Let's go see, you guys go siege up that land. Shouldn't take you that too long. War declared! France declared war on Kazabi! Probably because there's, a very, there's like the very few countries that are actually not a part of my empire. And if they knew, if they try to fight my empire, they're going to be like, oh no. Yes. Uh, wait. No. I don't want Brazil to expand. Uh, no. They don't get that. There we go. There we go. Alright, and now Ecuador, I don't really want to deal with you, so. Please just accept the peace, white peace. Thank you. Yeah. There we go. I didn't really want to deal with Ecuador, people. I mean, it's it's kind of stupid for me to deal with Ecuador, especially since I'm just a powerful nation. Let's see, supply limit-wise, this will be a good place right here. Right here, this supports it, but I can't put any more troops right there. Let's see, so that's Ottoman South Africa. Got a little bit more expansion into there. Gunzai, you're exactly allied with everyone I want you guys to be allied with. Okay, let's see. China, you guys should accept an alliance next turn, or next, next time I can do it. Once you guys accept an alliance, that's going to be great. Um, let's see. Let's go decrease our infamy just in case if I get some kind of event that's going to pretty much make me mad. Um, I don't want to keep doing it to all my states in uh, in um, Germany. I know I could do it to all my states in Germany, but sometimes I do want to keep some of my German land. So let's see. Is there anything else we could release? You know, I think I might release Belfus just because Belfus is actually good land. And I think they could actually become a really helpful vassal, so... Yeah, let's release Belfort. Okay, and then... Atze? I know what Atze is, but I'm not sure if I want to release him. Um, Albania? No, that's way too close to my mainland. Oh my goodness, so many vassals! So many vassals! Oh, goodness. Walchia, Walenia? No. I could release watching it actually because I don't really care about watching it. But let's see. Uh, I guess. I guess is there anything right in the middle that I could release? Ruthenia, Norway, no. Lumbeck, no, I don't want to release Lumbeck. Uh, Hamburg, I think I'd probably release Hamburg. Oh wait, let's just release Frankfurt. There we go. Okay, now that we got 100% positive relationships. Okay, now we got all this. More people being released. Let's see, Belfast, you, are you a little bit too powerful? Do I have to bring you down a notch? No. You guys are still not to the point where you're too powerful to the point where you guys could not fight for me. Good. So, we got Belfast formed. That way they can start helping me destroy more nations. Oh, yes! Okay, Bohemia's now got a decent-sized army. That makes me feel very, very happy. Oh, whoops, my phone now dropped. Sorry, people, give me one second. Uh, let me just, like, do some stuff. I got all tangled up in my, uh net here down here my chair okay got this all figured out all right so now Bo, now my good friends bohemia are now pretty powerful people which is why i wanted so that they could come help me out. they could come help me out go conquer stuff let's see you guys are you guys a, a part of my empire no you guys are not so i don't care about you. How about you man i keep having the hiccups okay and let's see so china should want to get an alliance here very very soon because we basically have what they want. Um, we're also lagging like crazy. And we can also decrease our like expenditure by a little bit. So let's just go to 56. That's probably as low as I can go right now. Um, kaboom, everyone! I said kaboom, kaboom. Alright, and let's see. We got one more turn. We're going to make an alliance with the Chinese. Get the Chinese on my side. And then have them go conquer all their little tiny buddies. Alright. Diplomatic influence, good. Alright, let's see. Does that help with this? We have 0 0.9, almost there. Let's see, do we have anything else we need to kind of work on? Evolutionary theory. 
now let's get some steel. Let's get some steel werewolves that we can start building some really advanced stuff. Let's see. Long live the Ottoman Empire! Okay, and we can also decrease a little bit more. I'm gonna see if I can push for 50. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Just as I thought. So 55. Probably to 55 I can push. For the 55. There we go. Actually, I can push probably to 54. There we go. Alright, yeah, because I really don't care about money, people. We are literally swimming. We are literally swimming in it. And there's an old saying called, money can't buy your love. And I do believe that. You Money can't buy your love. So let's not, like, deal with that. So, anyways, oh, China, you guys want to become buddies. Yes, you do. Good job, China. You guys realize the pecking order, too. Okay. Now, let's see. Because if I describe the pecking order, it'd be really funny, actually. All right. Now we have to wait for a little bit. Now we have to wait until, like, we can declare war on Gunzai, conquer all their land. And then, basically, from there, we're going to start doing massive conquests against our good friends down there. I should have all my armies made by now, so let's go see. Let's go see if all my armies are made. No, we're still making some of our armies down here in some of our colonial lands. It's take, It does take a little bit. I do understand that. It does take a little bit for colonial lands to build up. We also got some of these facts. Wow, is no one... Is my empire completely frozen right now in terms of building? No, we're building men. We're just not building them the way I like it. Okay, so you guys are building first. I guess Britain gets first priorities. I, okay. Okay, let's divide up our men. Go make sure they're not on the building site. Let's see. Are you guys ready to build up new soldiers? No, you guys are completely drained. Let's see. Do we build up new soldiers over here? No, you guys are still building up your guys' armies. Yeah, probably going to take me a little bit. Oh, uh, shoot. Maybe. I hope I didn't just ruin my plan over here to, like, build up a new army. Hope I didn't ruin this guy's... Uh, hmm. We'll figure it out once they all come over here. But, yeah, I'm still building up an army, so I can't really do anything there. So no point in cutting away. Just let's just keep going. I have to wait until my uh, wait until this builds up. There we go. Lazy Navy's learn how to adapt. Kaboom. Let's see. And you better not have boot. Oh, you got me. I hate you even more now, Gunzai, because you guys had good relationship with me. Did, could I have gotten to Quinzai? No, Quinzai had also good relationship with me. So that means I still would have to do this. So let's see. China, you better join in in my wars. By the way, I know you're going to be very mad at I'm conquering your land, but. Uh, I'm the one who's not coming out and killing you quite yet. And by the way, I have to close down all these factories, so I'll see you guys in one second. Okay, I am back. That took a little bit again. But yes, now that we have our car next turn, guys, we'll get a car spell eye against the, uh, unless Gunzai does something stupid and tries to, like, influence me, which I will completely hate them for, but even more, and they're gonna die even more painfully than what they already will die, okay? They better not influence me. Okay, they better not influence me. I will be mad beyond belief. I seriously mean that. Mad beyond belief. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Gunzai, for the crimes of being another nation, we will destroy. Establish a protectorate, really? Huh. No, I could just do that instead of like... Yeah, let's do that. That's much quicker and it's going to give us less infamy. And uh, basically, I already know that land will not be conquered, so... Yeah, wow, that actually makes our life a lot easier if I could just do that to everyone down here. Just, like, establish, establish a protectorate, establish a protectorate, establish a protectorate everywhere. Alright. Hopefully, Quinn Yai, I can do the same thing for, but just in case, I'm going to release another little guy. Let's see. Ethiopia, I could probably release. Flanders, I could probably release. Hodenstein, I could probably release. So many people. Can I release somebody in Java? Seriously? I don't really use Java, so Java would be really nice. I mean, who uses Java nowadays? <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Ottenhammer. Let's go right there. And let's see. Kaboom! They're coming for us! Those are good Chinese, they're coming for us! Yes, they are. I do believe that they are trying to steal our empire and trying to steal all of our glory. And all of our glorious power as a Chinese empire. Totally. Oh man, so many troops are being made per second. I'm literally the biggest power right now, but I'm still building more troops than everyone else. A thousand manpower is mostly due to the fact I have so much men. I probably would have much more. Okay, can we push it to 52? Probably to 52. Nope, 51, 50, I can push it. Yes! Yay! I pushed it all the way to 50. Yay! Everyone's getting more or less taxes. That means we don't have to deal with this many people. Huzzah! 
And Friendship, of course, killing off Kazabi. Really, because that's really one of the few nations that are not owned by me. So it makes sense. They're coming for us. Wow, they really... We're getting really good cosplay to go to war with them. 99, 100. Okay, we got the annexation. Let's see. You better join in, China. China should join in because I don't have any infamy. Let's see, China. If you guys don't join in, I'm just going to keep calling you guys in until you guys do. Oh my goodness, you got to be kidding me. Uh, okay, did France join in? No, they did not. Shoot. Okay, vassal time. Let's see, calling you guys. I mean, my strength should be enough, but like, uh, that's so annoying. My vassals are all getting like cocky now. They're all like, yay, now that they're gone, we can totally do whatever we want. I'm going to have to call you guys in eventually, but you guys, Belfast, call you guys in. Let's see, then call you guys in, Bohemia, Bohemia, and it seems like France is probably wanting to be my next conquered people. Hmm, that's basically what they just told me, is that they want to be conquered next. So, as soon as we're done with all of China, we're going to go after our good friends, the uh, other people. Let's see, by the way, how much is the show of force, just so we would know? Yeah, even with all that combined army, I'm still bigger than all of them. So that's pretty much the way the pecking order works again. And let's see. Alright. We have another army right over here built. Let's go discombine it. You go send half the army right over here. Alright. And let's see. We're going to have to start. We're going to have to get our alliance back with the Chinese. Again, I could fight all of this now. We are at the point where I could fight all these wars. But the problem is that I don't have any men over there to go fight them with. And they're about to go siege at my one little province, aren't they? Hmm. Jerks. Okay. Let's see. China, you guys want your alliance back. I know you do. Okay. Don't be... Now, I'm going to call you guys back in. Don't be stupid lazy heads and try to re refuse. Okay. It just creates more problems for all... You know what? Capitalists pay for my money. Give me more money. Even though I don't need the money. Give me more money. By the way, you guys can have military access. You guys can have military access. You guys can have military access. Go fight this war for me. Come on. Yay! Okay, there we go. This is exactly what I needed. Alright, China is now in this war, which means basically they're doomed. They're doomed. Because basically China has the biggest army out of them all. And China can instantly destroy all of them. So we're just going to watch as the mighty Chinese Empire just destroys all of them and does all this war for me. And let's see. Let's go right here. Let's start getting more organized stuff. Let's use any kind of technologies I can get right now. No, muzzle blower rifles won't come out until 1900s. Three years from now. So we don't need them. Long live the Ottoman Empire! Long live the Ottoman Empire! Oh, no more long live the Ottoman Empire? I love praising myself, so please, give me more events like that. Oh, Ottomans, please tell me you got... Oh, please tell me, China, you're not going to be stupid. I, I didn't really calculate that you guys would be stupid with your troops, so please tell me you're not going to be stupid. Please tell me you're going to start crushing some of these bigger armies. Oh, I use you as my own little meat shield. Let's see. Did we win enough battles yet? No. Battles were actually lo losing. Okay, let's see. Is there any kind of armies over here I have to deal with? Denam and Siberia want to obviously try to kill me. Um, do I have any armies? Yeah, you guys go over here. Okay, no, wait. Okay. You're going to give me military access, otherwise I'm going to kill you. <sighs> Apparently, idle threats don't work anymore in today's world. Let's see. You guys gonna give me military access? No. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna get military access from. Also, you guys, you guys probably get out of that land. Oh, shoot, yeah, you guys, if you guys still can't, if you guys are still exiled, go all the way over here. Uh, we're gonna, actually, we're gonna use the fact that he's still exiled as a chance to get into my land. <laughs> it's a little cheeky move, I call, moving into land while I'm still exiled. So, let's do that. And let's see, truth be told... I'm just gonna. I'm pretty sure we're still winning. The Chinese are still sieging up way faster than the uh, Quinzai are losing. And even if they do, if they mobilize, I know if the Chinese mobilize, they're going to annihilate everyone over here. So, eventually, I'm pretty sure the Chinese will win this. But it's, it's scary sometimes to see them lose this badly. Let's see. I'm also gonna add the war goal Quinzai of conquering Quinzai once we're done. There we go. Let's see. Can I add Protectorate again? Yes! Okay. Okay, so I only had to take 10 infamy for that. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. We could probably do Siam. We could probably get the Nam and Siam in this too. 
Oh, well, probably, no, I couldn't probably get the Nam. I mean, Siam. Let's just get, let's just get the Nam in this. That way I have a whole entire shoreline. And I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.